Mark your calendars for next weekend. The Concha Del Mar hosts Fire and Ice, where you'll start out on fire, but one miss will make you ice cold. And in the city, make your way to the wreck, where you'll earn double. Oh, the land of the free. And tipping us off here, a terrific performance of the national anthem. We'll be right back with more. Hold on tight and don't go away. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sport. GA, it's a good evening to you, Kev. Yeah, I love his game. That was a good report. Thank you. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. And be out there with Vucevic. Then it's Ball. Then it's DeRozan. And it's Walker in at the shooting guard position. And for the Kings. And Halliburton on the wing. He's joined by Barnes. Bagley and Holmes sharing the post duties. And it's Fox in at the point. For teams with a lot of new players, Greg, this time of year can be a real challenge. Sure can. And just getting on the same page takes some time. And then you have to build that trust. Weathering the storms together will help you do that. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. Cloak loose and stolen by MP. That shot misses. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. This their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. Yeah, and they put up a goose egg last year when they played this team twice. And stolen by MP. It's stolen by Bagley. Here's Halliburton. And the rejection by MP. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you gotta love that energy. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Barnes passes to Halliburton. Out to the wing. Bagley from outside. On defense, MP shows real dedication. He's not going to make it easy for you. And a defender all over. Bulls shooting their first free throws of the game. That's good from Walker. At the line for the Bulls. Lonnie Walker. And so Walker nails both of them. And here now the Kings. Four-point game. Barnes outside. Over DeRozan. He can't get that one to fall. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they looked right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. Here's Halliburton following the basket by MP. Barnes looking around. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer. MP grabs the miss. Oh, my God. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes this happens. Count it good. Right in the teeth of that defense, DeRozan explosive through contact. Fox, the bounce pass. Ball's not loose. Stolen by Ball. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Walker. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Walker against Barnes. The dish to Bagley. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Now here's Barnes. He points his last outing. Bagley against Walker. Stolen by Walker. 
Here's MP. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. And MP throws it down hard. Sacramento. And how about MP just showing off right there? Give this guy a launching pad. Man, the skies. The right. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. Fresh from a win against Portland. Yeah, and that one, their rebounding was the difference. Big disparity between the two teams. And you know this. What you do on the backboard may not completely win or lose a game, but it can tip the scale in one team's favor. Fox, no good. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. The pass to Vucevic. Driving inside. Yeah, we're seeing Assistant. some fireworks from them already. MVP. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Barnes passes to Bagley. Halliburton outside. Halt the run, and it's good on the way in. And that ends the struggle. You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Frustrating beginning for them, but we have a long way to go. Now they just need to string together some buckets. The Rosen's shot is off. The Kings trail by 10. When you look at Harrison Barnes shooting, it's clear he's all about efficiency. And he wants to make the most out of every touch, and, and he's doing just that by shooting consistently. He, he's clearly put in the work to dial in his shot and limit wasted opportunities. Now, here's MP. Harrison Barnes missing his own. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive scheme. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And, Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. Fox, no good. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. To the middle, here's MP. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. MP's got eight points. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now, here's Fox. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Portland. And he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker. Some of the plays he made were just remarkable. And a fantastic finish. I, I just love seeing Fox work his way through contact and converting. Now, here's MP. Turned in an outstanding game MP. against Minnesota. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's Fox. They trail by 14. Pass to Halliburton. Outside, Fox. Douglas kicks to Barnes. Fox deciding where to go with it. Clock at four. Shoots over Vucevic. And Fox gets it to go. And how about the mid-range shooting of Fox? Definitely capable of sinking those shots with consistency. MP with it. He's got 10. A second chance effort, and it's good on the way up. 12 points for him. Just doing the job on the backboard. And Sacramento has possession. They trail by 14. Pass to Bagley. And finish off by Bagley. And how about the awareness there from Fox? You got to love seeing how he is such a willing passer in finding the open man. Now, here's MP. 12 points for him. There's the draw. Oh! And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Lens checked in for Bagley. 
Josh Hart comes in for Barnes. Heald's checked in for Halliburton. And it's Mitchell in for Fox. Now here's Heald. An 11 point game for him in the win against Portland. And the rejection by MP. The Bulls leading by 14. Here's Williams. That one drops for him. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Bulls. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. And also they've been really active on the defensive end in terms of applying pressure and coming away with steals. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Two minutes. Down low. Two minutes. A shot by Williams, no good. Sacramento's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Hart the pass to Mitchell. And the shot goes down. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. One thirty-six left here in the first quarter. MP dishes to Williams. Good, and the Williams. assist goes to MP. MP's got his third assist on the night. The Kings trail by 16. Now heel. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Now here's Mitchell. Tight defense on him. Hart connects from three-point range. You can't afford to let Hart get going from deep. He's ready to shoot it when given the opportunity. 55 seconds left in the... Oh! oh! That's what I'm talking oh! about. Wow. That was nice. You could see he was setting that up the minute he got his hands <laughs> on the ball. Well, you, you got to know what you're doing if you're going to do it, if you're going to try that, right? Oh, wow. I'm sure plenty of practice hours went into it, and that has this team fired up. Douglas plus second chance points on the tip in. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Now, here's MP. He's got 16. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Mitchell outside. To the left side wing. Here's Douglas. And it's off the back rim. No good. And so it's MP making things happen for Chicago. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And the Bulls guys have been rolling right along, haven't they? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Especially at the start, you want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. We've got Williams. Farrell is out there with MP. Then it's White, and it's Caruso in at the point. Chicago leading by 15. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. MP in the last game against the Timberwolves had a huge game. He had 60 points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. He put up great numbers in a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss. And he'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious he was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. And it's good assisting on the play was William. MP's got 20 points. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Douglas. No good there. Good defense by MP. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Come get it, come get it. Three, three, three. 
it's hauled in by the Kings. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Here's Hart. Again, the miss by the Kings. Chicago leading by 19 points. White finds MP. Into the lane. Banked in off the glass. 22 points for him. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Mitchell outside. To the right side. Here's Douglas. No good off the front iron. Out of bounds. Sacramento takes possession. Chicago making some changes. Vucevic, he's checked in for Farrell. Johnson comes in for Williams. And Moore subbed in for Alex Caruso. The Kings trail by 21. Heald kicks to Mitchell. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Passes to Douglas. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Douglas has got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. The drive by MP. And MP throws it down hard. What separates MP from a lot of players is that natural burst. It is so fast. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Mitchell against White. Mitchell kicks to Holmes. The pass to Ramsey. Shoots over Vucevic. The shot by Ramsey, no good. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And so it's Douglas who will bring it up for the King. To the paint, here's Holmes. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And you look at the 2021 draft class, just some unbelievable talent at the top. I mean, Kay Cunningham, for me, probably is the consensus best player. But, man, you got guys like Suggs and Green and Kaminga with that rare athleticism. And how about Mobley? He really... This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shooting for Chicago. Alex Caruso at the line for one. One eleven left here in the second. Hart the pass to Len. He dishes it to Fox. It's rebounded by Farrell. Farrell's got four rebounds in this game. To the inside. MP. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Len. It's scary when MP is going off like this. His adrenaline starts flowing, the teammates getting pumped, and then it's like a runaway trail. Barnes passes to Fox. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And for a player of his size, Fox is not afraid to take some contact to get to the line. He'll do it every chance he gets. The Kings making a switch here. Heald's checked in. Kobe White, he's checked in for Chicago. Barnes against MP. Inside. Rebounded by Hart. The Kings trail by eight. To the middle. Here's Fox. Sacramento again missing. And here is MP. He's got 26. Here he goes. With the second effort, Len with the block. And we've reached halftime in this one. It's Chicago.
We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You look at MP in this one. He's been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. It's in the backcourt with Halliburton to his side. The front court will be Barnes along with Bagley. And it's Holmes, and at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. And that's the group for Luke Walton as we begin the second half. MP with it, guarded now by Barnes, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by DeRozan. Misread each other on the pass, tried to recover, but too late. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The teardrop falls in. Fox has got four points now in the quarter. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. MP passes to Vucevic. Holmes with the steal. Outside, Fox. The ball over here by the Kings. Makes it off the glass. Fox has got 12 in the game. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Right around a minute and a half. Play here in the third quarter. DeRozan's DeRozan. shot is good. Textbook pick and roll from MP. Shifting the defense so he can set up a ready shooter. The Kings trail by four. And at times, it just feels like DeRozan is still underappreciated. Receives a lot of criticism for what he doesn't do and hit not enough credit for what he does. At the top of the key, Halliburton. Lock at six. And shot on the way. Fox, no good. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. And DeRozan's talked about using negative press to his advantage. You know, he said you have to be able to take criticism if you want to be great. Use the negative energy to become something more than you thought you could be. Here's Fox, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Hanzo Ball picks one up. And we talk about Fox's speed, but he also has length. He's a factor there in the paint. Fox hits them both. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. MP against Barnes. MP, and MP throws it down. And the decisiveness of MP on display. Have to be aware of his ability to knife his way inside. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. DeRozan against Barnes. Rebound by the Bulls. MP's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And the dunk by MP. Proving how effective he can be in these sets. MP reads defense as well in the pick and roll. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Angley with a wide open look. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got four assists in the game. Here's MP. 30 points in the game. Takes it inside. And MP throws it down hard. They'll take that look every time. MP with the easy finish. And it's Fox with the ball for Sacramento. They trail by seven. Dishes to Bagley. Chicago grabs the miss. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. MP kicks to Vucevic. Can't connect from 13 feet out. 
Sacramento's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Halliburton on the wing. Pass to Holmes. There's the dish to Barnes. Driving the lane. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And it's seven points for Harrison Barnes. Exceptional work from Barnes. The defense was aggressive with him, but he is so accomplished at finding ways to get the job done around them. Now, here's MP. 32 points in the game. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. Timeout called by the Kings. MP really making a difference here. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Farrell's checked in for Vucinic. Johnson comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And Moore shoved in for Lonnie Walker. Whitey's checked in for the Bulls. MP with it. And he drives in. And he elevates for the slam dunk. And Marvin Bagley did not like that. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead. And here we go. Maybe it is showtime. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Ramsey for three. Hangs home the trifecta. Ramsey's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. An unselfish guy who enjoys setting his guys up. Bagley has impressive vision for a big fella. Johnson can't get it to go. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Mitchell against Moore. Here's Bagley. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And Chicago calls for the foul. And the game Bagley has reminds me a little bit of Chris Bosch, a sweet lefty who plays with force and passion. On a heel, he's checked in for the Kings. And a change for the Bulls. Williams, he's checked in for Johnson. MP passes to Farrell, and that one is stuffed right through. Very high IQ play by MP, giving it away to the guy with a wide open look. Kicks it to Mitchell. Outside, Bagley. Again, the miss by the King. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. MP passes to Williams. Bagley with the block. And a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shoot. That's his second and now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen. Triggering a review of the personal foul. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. He doesn't get the second one. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down. Passes it to Williams. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Mitchell. The Kings trail by nine. Feeds it to Douglas. MP grabs the miss. 
MP's got rebound number 13 with that last one. The pass to Williams. Good in the assist goes to MP. Assisted. MP's got nine assists now tonight. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Pass to Ramsey. Back to Mitchell. Driving in. He can't get that one, so the Bulls will take it the other way. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. The drive by him. Oh, that was something else. That was nasty. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Mitchell with the bounce pass. Here's Douglas. He kicks it to land. Mitchell up top, just five to shoot. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Hart, he's checked in for the Kings. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. The Bulls leading by 13. Floats it up for MP, and MP throws it down. Well, MP and his squad are in a good rhythm, helping set up that stunning alley-oop. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. That's to land. King's moving the ball around. Here's Douglas. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his third. It's going to be on MP. 14 fouls. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Chicago. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. Yeah, but, but they also never seem to get cold from mid-range. Just kept hitting those shots with consistency. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Alex Land. And the dunk by MP. Uh, I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. And Holmes now, top of the key. Mitchell outside. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Got a piece of it. It's White on the wing. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. That one good for two. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Seventeen seconds left in the third quarter. Now Mitchell. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Mitchell's got five. Easy look for mid-range. He won't miss many of those late. Oh, he got I it to go! It. Wow. I can't believe it! Woo. Oh, beats the buzzer from way down court. These fans are stunned. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Let's listen now to head coach Luke Walton review the game plan with his team. Hey, don't give in. Keep playing. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. Taking a look at the Bulls, Farrell is out there with MP. Then it's White, then it's Williams. And it's Caruso in at the point guard. Sky high, one of his advantages as a undersized four. Heel dishes to Fox. It's good, and it's a six make against 11 attempts. 
Well, I think it's fair to say that Fox is in the zone right now. An exciting player to watch. I just love seeing how he can take over a game with his aggressiveness. MP. Here's Caruso. And Pluck. That one goes careening off the glass. And MP throws it down. The Kings trail by 20. Tipped away. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Floats it up for MP. Now, any MP. chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Fox passes to Holmes. He dishes it to Heal. And the rejection by MP. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Drives to the hoop. And he gets the bucket. MP. MP's got 46 points. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. And there's the foul. Alex We're going Caruso. Alex Caruso. That's his first, That's his first foul. First and Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards Ooh, during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you play? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because... I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. Don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, at 6'8", that, that was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all-time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been at that league guard position. Pass to Hart. White against Fox. Barnes outside. Now the pass to heel. Again, the miss by the Kings. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And this rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Dishes it to Vucevic. Here's Caruso. And a miss there on the triple. And stolen by MP. Count that bucket. MP. MP's got 48. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Hart kicks to Heald. The dish to Fox. Can they get it? And he lays it up and in. Fox has got four this quarter. And Fox starting to show you his abilities inside. It has quick instincts, which I think helps him when he's down low. He has taken it upon himself to score the ball as much as possible for his team. He's not looking to pass it right now. Fox against White. Right side, Fox. And Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Barnes against MP. Connects again. MP. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. 
to Holmes. We've heard the calls for more diversity among head coaches, Greg. With the turnover this offseason came a lot of opportunity. And Kevin, that's really what it's all about, right? The league's values of diversity and inclusion have been really pushed to the forefront. And I think that's one why, reason why our game is so popular globally, because it is so inclusive. Six to shoot. Here's MP. Rebounded by Holmes. The Kings have gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. Fox passes to Barnes. And here is Hart. And the rejection by MP. Going inside. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Healed outside. From 13, the shot no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Here's MP. Vucevic trying to get open. MP, good. MP's got 54 points. Now, here's Fox. Healed outside. Fires for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. MP's got his 16th rebound on the night. And Aaron King's Fox foul. gets the whistle that time. Aaron Fox. That's his first foul. That's his first Fouling foul. like that, isn't it? And so Chicago takes this one. And by a big margin. A resounding victory for them and Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right, but with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew,